Tonight, a patient at the Buffalo Psychiatric Center has been charged with assaulting three staff members, sending them all to the hospital. Now, the incident put the facility into lockdown and led to an awful lot of questions about how this actually even happened. To your size, Rob Hackford joins us now. He has the latest on that story tonight. Rob? Yeah, good evening, Scott Mary Ellis. Buffalo police tell us the patient now accused of stabbing those three employees was living at the center and, according to personal accounts, attacked unprovoked. Police allege 34-year-old Calvin Haskins stabbed three employees at the Buffalo Psychiatric Center Wednesday around 9 a.m. The campus entering lockdown and Haskins, a patient at the facility, taken into custody. Uh, three victims in total from this incident. There was two males, one female. The attack happening unprovoked, according to personal accounts shared with Buffalo police. All three victims were taken to ECMC with various injuries, one requiring surgery. According to Buffalo Police Chief Craig Macy. He will be on a uh, constant watch in uh, Buffalo uh, police lockup uh, and until he is uh, arraigned tomorrow morning. Macy said Haskins allegedly used a knife when asked how any weapon was able to enter the center's residential program area. There is people that come in and out of there. Um, so that is, it, there is no screening process for weapons. In a statement, the New York State Office of Mental Health Services, which oversees the psychiatric center, said in part, quote, the Office of Mental Health's top priority is the safety of our staff and the individuals we serve. And our thoughts are with the employees who were injured and their families. Chief Macy commending the actions of co-workers jumping in, administering first aid, and possibly preventing the death of a colleague. I, I can't commend the staff enough to be able to have the wherewithal to be able to um, treat and, and be able to call for help for more first responders to be able to get there. But they have to deal with a difficult situation uh, at that complex every single day. Yeah, and Scott and Mary Ellis, I got some new information from the Office of Mental Health just within the last hour. They said they're going to review all the relevant information related to this incident. I've got it on my phone here. They're also going to look at making sure that both the safety of staff and patients is guaranteed going forward. Not mentioning any actions at this time, but we'll continue to keep you posted as this story develops. For now, on your side, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.